102.7 Kiss FM Los Angeles. It's time for Ryan's Roses. I want to jump into it now. Rachel's been on the whole button here for nine and a half minutes. So, Rachel, thank you for waiting for us to get here. Uh, we yeah. got your email. I just want to understand what happened here. So you say your husband ignored a call the other day saying, oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to blow that up because it was for work. But then he put his phone down uh, and you said, I could see the voicemail transcription in real time. You don't like what yeah. you saw. Walk us through yeah. what you saw, what you read, what was there. Right. Yeah. So, like, I don't know if you know, like, if you have this on your phone or not, because I know it's an update with the iPhones. But when someone leaves a voicemail now, like, you can see what they're saying in real time. And so, yeah, my husband isn't one that actually knows this. So he got a call um, when we were getting ready for dinner. And he looked at it and put his phone down on the counter and I could see it was from Giselle. And so I was just like, who's, who's Giselle, honey? And, um, he said Giselle. to me, yeah, Giselle. So right. You saw the name. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 So I saw the name and I was just like, honey, who's Giselle? And he, he said, she's our new office manager like this. And he, he was just like, oh yeah, she doesn't really know how anything works or, you know, where anything is. So she calls a lot, like all day. And at that time, Ryan, like, that seemed pretty legit, you know. Um, I know they were onboarding new people and stuff. So, but then I, I saw the voicemail she was leaving in real time, like the words popping up. And it, and so it read, hey, baby, any chance you can get away tonight? I want to feel you. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? And, Okay, yeah. keep going. I don't need much more, but keep going. No, I know. Actually, I was just about to say it gets like really graphic from there, so I don't, I don't yeah. need to say more. You know. Okay. Um, but I will say, Ryan, like in his defense, he they didn't end up going anywhere that night. But honestly, like he's been working late a lot lately, so I don't know what to make of it, and I'm just like hoping. Well, I mean, clearly there's can help me. Uh, there's something way too comfortable going on there with Giselle at work. Thank the fact you. That she would send that. Right randomly not randomly probably this is connected to something that's going on all right uh, Rachel, hang on for one second we are okay. um, uh rinda ryan's roses now tony you were saying something during that song about the transcription issue here uh we, we have rachel on the line she saw a transcriptive message come in from a woman named giselle at his work that said hey baby what are you doing tonight i need to feel you and Tanya, you said in his defense? Well, I'm just saying sometimes my phone at least has transcribed certain words. To Do you think you would get all of those certain words so wrong in mess and make a completely new message of that tone? No, but like feel you could have been something. See I you. That could have been see you. Yeah, that I want to see, see you. you. Yeah, that could have been. That's fair. What it about could have baby? Been but hey, baby, what are you doing tonight? No. Yeah. Hey, boy. Hey, hey, brother. I'm just saying, I just have had hey, I have had transcriptions that have been like completely messed up from what the actual message said. Okay, I, I'm not buying that defense in this. This is way too for no. me. Right? On. I mean, this sounds like on the nose exactly what she meant to send. So, Rachel, we are going to call your husband now. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then his name. Go ahead. Okay, um, Ryan, you have my permission to call my husband. All right, we're going to find out if he sends you the roses, Rachel, or Giselle, or anybody else. Be very quiet. Here we go. Good luck. Thanks. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Christian, please? Uh, yes, this is him. Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm calling from Lolo's Blooms. We are on Whittier and Painter near the Michaels. And we're offering a promotion today for local residents. It's a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. Special promotion for Valentine's hey. Day. And I don't, okay, yeah. I, yeah, I don't need cash or anything like that from you. They're free. Um, is that something you'd be interested in? Like no strings attached? Yeah, I don't need credit card info or... Any info from you, really, just the name of the person you want to send them to and a note. We can start there. Okay. Does, does it have to be Red Roses or can I... I mean, that's the promotion different? we're doing because did it, Valentine's Day is basically this week. Um, but what color would you want? Oh, I, I, I don't really know flowers, but uh, I, I don't want somebody to get the wrong idea um, if I give them these flowers, you know what I mean? Uh, are these like friendly flowers? I'm assuming. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I could I could swap them out for white. Would that work? 
That, yeah, that's that's fine. That's okay, fine. we can do white roses. Um, and then what would you like to put on the car? Well, who do you want to send them to? Um, so I just give you her name, or yep, because it, it, it's a it's a gal. Okay, yeah, uh, her name is Giselle. Okay. And I think I have the address. Uh, before we go the, there, just what would you like to put on the here. note? Um, let's do let's do welcome to the team, um, and like from Matt. Ben, Brody, Angela, and Dee Dee. Gotcha. Okay. Christian, your voice is on the radio now being broadcast. Please understand that. Hello? I have your... Hi, how are, how are you? My name is Ryan. I have uh, your wife, Rachel, on the phone with us right now. Um, Rachel, uh, let me to try and address this Rachel? for a moment, but please follow up. Yes, Rachel's here. <sighs> Yeah, hi. Oh, oh, Giselle. Giselle, when she called the other night, I saw the voicemail she left. Okay? What do you what do you mean what do you mean you saw the voicemail that she, what are you, what are you talking about? It was right on the screen. It was right it said, Hey baby, you think you can get away tonight? I want to feel you all over me. What's going on? Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I, I think I think you talking? have the wrong idea. This is this oh, is like no. some AI or something. Because like what? what? Christian, what? we want to level with you here. Your wife saw the message, which she yes. just said. Yeah. She saw it. She read it. It came from a woman named Giselle. Now you're sending flowers to Giselle. I, I think you're being clever by changing them to friendly flowers, but I'm not buying it. It's I'm time to buy it. I want to see this phone up. call. I need to see this voicemail. You can send she, it. She's new to the team. She's new to the team. I, I, no, why is she so comfortable me, with you? Show me the voicemail. Yeah, let, let her hear it. I didn't keep. I don't. I don't keep my voicemails. I didn't keep the voicemail. Oh, and she, she was right, just asking right. for no. validation that, figures huh. for work. Oh my god, no, that's too much. I know exactly what probably happened. You listened to the voicemail. You deleted it. Then you went into your freaking phone to the deleted messages. You deleted that one. You can come home right now and you can show me. You can hand me your phone and we can. I want to see it. Rachel, I'm on a job. I can't just come home right now. Yes, Christian, you can. This is important. What's going on with you and Giselle? It's not yeah. adding up, bro. I, I'm telling you, she's new to the team. I'm trying to be a good oh teammate. Oh, my God. And so are, so, are, so are the other people. It's but Valentine's, it's like, Valentine's Day week. Why, why welcome, not send flowers yeah, to your you, wife? Yeah, True. you're cozying up too close. And this message, we don't buy that it's AI. We just don't. Thank you, Ryan. That's right. Okay. And I definitely what? don't. I'm, this is this is a ton of right now. I can't. How is your wife not top of mind this week of all Seriously. weeks? Seriously. Seriously. She she you... is. I'm not saying she's not. Like what what is what are we talking about? Like this is like a free flowers. I'm gonna spend money on my wife. I'm not gonna I'm not right. gonna give her a free. Oh my god. I can't. I can't with this. I can't. Yeah, you guys I, back I me up here. You, back me up. I agree with oh, yeah. you. Yeah. I agree with you. Christian, uh, find the voicemail. Play the voicemail for your wife. Or, or I don't know how else to look at this, but it it seems too comfortable, bro. Too cozy. I think you're trying to be clever by sending her the white roses. I don't know what to thing. tell you. I, I really don't know what to tell I just you. Tell I mean, us the you, truth. You tell to, us the, all yeah. you have to do is tell her the truth. You can come clean for yeah, starters. That would be good. All I'm asking, all I'm asking for is, is for a little trust here. Like this is it. I'm trust. Pretty, you're I'm the one that broke the trust. trust. Trust is earned. You are you're doing the opposite right now, acting like a freaking fool. Are you kidding me? Just, just be honest. Okay, well, I can't like, show you something honest? that's deleted. I don't know what to tell you. Because you deleted it. Because you were the one who deleted it. I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh, why would you delete a voicemail that wasn't, you're, if you weren't trying to be sneaky? Yeah. Exactly. It's kind of suspect. All right. No, you're... I don't keep my voicemails. <laughs> All right, Rachel, Christian, Rachel, I think you're right with your hunch. You heard what you heard yeah. from him. The two of you need yeah. to discuss this in person I, I wish you the best of luck in this situation so what do you think leave a comment and hit that like button below and thanks for watching